begin, though, with our talk of the tape, whether investors should prepare for an even bigger momentum meltdown. Let's ask Liz Young, SoFi's head of investment strategy, with me here at Post Night. Nice to see you again. You too. Welcome back. Thank you. That seems to be where the conversation is, whether momentum, the momentum trade mm -hmm. has run out of steam, and now we're going to see this rotation into laggards. What do you think? If we're talking about the momentum trade as the Magnificent Seven of 2023 and the big tech names that brought us into 2024, then yes, I think it already has run out of steam. I think that boat, that ship has sailed, right? Well, while you're ready, you're throwing the curtain down on it already. I mean, it, it was one day for NVIDIA, Liz. I'm not done yet. So the momentum, though, if we're talking about momentum in the sense of risk appetite momentum, I don't think that ship has sailed. I think that's still here. I think that's still alive and well. So all that I think is happening right now, which may be the precursor to something else, but all that I think is happening right now is that investors are saying, I don't want out of the market. I don't want out of growth. In fact, I'd like to try to find growth wherever else I can get it, but I'm not going to be silly enough to go into things that are very obviously crowded trades, very obviously overbought. So let me go try some other things. So there's rotations going on within sectors, which is exactly what's happening in tech right now. And there's also rotations going on amongst sectors. Do you think the NVIDIA reversal on Friday marked a change in a trend for the market? I'm talking not so much momentum behind the rally itself, but the sure. factor of momentum. Stocks that since November 1st, for example, Almost anything tied to AI, mm -hmm. and especially if you look at the direction of many of these chip stocks, it's not just NVIDIA. I mean, right. you could Taiwan Semi, AMD, Micro. I mean, so many of these other names just went to the moon. Mm -hmm. And seemingly everything went with it that's related to, you know, growth, momentum. Is that going through a reversal? I do. Well, I think a lot of it hinges on the direction of NVIDIA. There's don't underestimate the you know rising tide lifts all ships and then the guilty by association trade as well. So if NVIDIA was the one driving most of this and keeping the enthusiasm up, then yes, for it to give some back, I don't think it should be a surprise that the rest of the chip sector also gave some back. But I also don't think it's a surprise that people didn't throw in the towel entirely on tech. I think that people are still willing to be present for that. And even even if we think the market is extended, which I think it's difficult to find anybody who says it's not extended broadly at these P.E. levels, at this level of yields, even if we think it's extended, that doesn't mean it has to stop. It's just that certain parts of it may need to slow down a bit. And we're in a market, I think we talked about this on halftime last week, where I remember two years ago, maybe even less than that, we were talking about, well, can the market go up without Apple? Yes, it can. Now we're talking about, can the market go up without NVIDIA? We're finding that out right now. So far, do you think it's it can? one day, one or two days, right? Do you think it can? I do think it can if the rotation trade stays intact, but that also depends on whether or not the economy continues to go, because the rotation trade, in order for a broadening out to be effective and durable, would need to include cyclical sectors, which it has in part, right? Nope, Industrials not in have part, participated. In a lot. I mean, materials are up 7.5% in, in a month. Mm -hmm. Energy's doing great. Uh, financials have done better. Industrials have done Quite, quite Industrials well. have been doing well for a while. The materials and energy trade is a little bit newer. That would have to continue. And if the rotation goes into cyclical sectors like that and keeps it durable, then yes, I do think the market can go up without NVIDIA. But that doesn't mean that in the meantime, that sentiment wouldn't be bruised. We've been throwing all of our eggs into that basket. And I think it would make people nervous if NVIDIA went down quickly. Are you, are you more positive than not on the market now or no? In the short term? I guess my answer would be yes, 